My name is Torbjörn Jagland. I'm the Secretary General of the Council of Europe and we started up uh, the No Hate Speech uh, campaign uh, a couple of years ago and I'm here to promote uh, and pay attention to this campaign and other tools uh, that we have for uh, combating um, increasing racism, xenophobic tendencies and also hate speech and violence. Um, so what do you think are the most important things we have to do to uh, prevent and also to combat hate speech? I think it's uh, very important to mobilize uh, people, in particular young people, on the internet. Uh, you can see what is going on uh, there. It's important uh, that people stand up and speak against it, that's one thing. But we also need to use uh, I mean, to, uh, education. Um, uh, educate people on what it means to be a citizen and I think also that we need to use laws and law enforcement. It's simply not uh, lawful to, uh, to do incitement uh, for uh, violence and racism so well of course we need to protect freedom of expression but at the same time, we need also to get through to people that there are some limits to that. Um, so, a uh, short question uh, with an easy answer. What should be the answer to hate? Tolerance. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, giving clear messages to uh, people uh, what you should do and not to do. I think it's extremely important now to um, mobilize um, passion for uh, uh, people and in particular minorities. Could you please state your opinion or your knowledge on the issue of anti-gypsyism as the new form of structural racism in Europe and maybe your ideas how to maybe tackle it? Uh, actually, anti-gypsyism is not a new thing in Europe, it's an old thing like um, anti-Semitism. And unfortunately, uh, both are on the rise again. And uh, therefore we need to mobilize and we need to um, really tell people um, how, it, how it went last time. We were not able to stop it. Uh, it may happen again, so I mean, it's extremely important that we stand up for minorities, I mean, in particular the Roma people, the Jewish people and the Muslims in Europe.